Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to just make a few comments and begin first by appreciating and congratulating the County Assembly of Kirinyaga as well as the people of Kirinyaga. Um, by going through the process in the way that they did, they absolutely uh, did what they are supposed to do, which is a good job in oversight. So Mr. Speaker, when I sit here and I hear some very condescending remarks directed at members of the county assemblies or MCAs, it's quite disheartening because I could tell you, having been a speaker myself of a county assembly and sitting where you're sitting over members of the county assembly and now having been a senator and having been in this house for two and a half years, I might stand here today and say that the MCAs know better, they know their jobs better at times than the senators in this house. I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, that the MCAs do not hold brief for anybody, but continue to carry out their jobs without fear or favor, something that you could never find in the Senate. Mr. Speaker, back on June 16th, the afternoon of June 16th, as we debated whether to go to plenary or to have a special committee for, uh, for this agenda, you could have thought that the members here who are speaking as angels were different members when the motion of Governor Waitito was brought. And having heard them speak here today, it's a complete contradiction to what we've seen. So my only hope is that as we go forward, if there are more impeachments, let the House be consistent. Otherwise, the leader of the supposed leader of majority on the majority side, coming here to lecture us about what we put on social media and being populist or having honor, unity, and dignity for the House, it's lip service. People are watching what we are doing as a Senate and not what we are saying. And as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, what I said back on June 16th has come to pass. We got a committee that was very good at sanitization services, and they have been able to carry that uh, this afternoon. That has been done. It was predetermined, the die was cast, and I was expecting no different results. As I conclude, the U.S. President Truman, order, Harry order, Truman. Order, there is a point of order from okay. Mr. Kilonzo. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Sen Senator Kiga might have her problems with uh, Jubilee, but the Senator of uh, West Pocot is the leader of majority. He's not the supposed leader of majority. I don't think it's correct to, to use such sentiment against colleagues, and Mr. Speaker, since you are here, and we count on you on having order, the, some people in this Senate are behaving as if they have monopoly on bad manners. We can insult one another if we want, but Mr. Speaker, we restrain the ourselves because the standing orders require of us not to behave as if we are on the streets. That's why they're calling standing orders. When somebody stands, they use the standing orders. I think Senator Kika should withdraw that statement about the majority leader, Mr. Speaker. And please, Mr. Speaker, these good people who sit here while you're as well friends, please don't be too lenient on them. Otherwise, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> otherwise, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, otherwise, Mr. Speaker, we are also going to misbehave in this house so that, Mr. Speaker, then we, we force you to enforce the law in this house. Thank you. Okay, honorable, honorable senators, order. Order. I treat you as honorable members. I want to expect that we conduct ourselves because the whole world is watching. Let us respect each other. Don't push me to, you know, take action that I would not want to take. But remember, what you say against your old brother or sister or against another senator will also be said against you. Susan, complete, please. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
And I also would want the, the speaker to, to rule or to let the House know whether the new Jubilee member, Senator Mutula Kilonzo, is a whip of the minority party yeah, or, or an additional you are, of, you are out of order. Your time is up, Senator Susan. You are out of order. Your time is up. <laughs> Senator Musurube.